Hello, this is Adam with his hermit crabs. The first year thing you need to know is about the temperature and the humidity. You must always have a thermometer inside your aquarium or terrarium or um, inside garden. And you must have a humidity gauge if you don't want to have the humidity gauge, you do not have to get it, but it is good to have it. The humidity gauge should always be above 60 and lower than 90. If, they, if, it, if it is too dry inside your tank, then your hermit crabs will be sad and they might die. And your temperature must always be above 70 and under 90 because if it is too cold, your hermit crabs will freeze and, be, and die. And if your crabs are too hot, they will be sad and they will die. And you must, for a 10 gallon tank, it is nice to have two, two packets of Zoomed sand. It is okay if you have more than two. If you have less than two packets, then your hermit crabs will not be able to burrow inside the sand and then they will be sad and they'll get cold. You must always have two or three shells for your hermit crabs to live in after they grow. Here is it, my water bowls. I, you must have two water bowls, a salt water bowl and a fresh water bowl. If you don't, then they, then they probably won't live. But, and if this is optional, you do not have to get a sponge, but hermit crabs love to, to drink their water out of sponges it is much nicer than just drinking from the bowl. And here is my hermit crab food bowl. If you want... You will need at least two teaspoons per hermit crab inside your food bowl. I recommend peanut butter, carrots, lettuce or zoo med or zoo med hermit crab food now on to the humidity every day you must spray inside your hermit crab cave if you do not the humidity will go low and your hermit crabs will not like it and you and it is a good idea to have a towel over your aquarium so that you can spray the bottom and the humidity will stay in and so will the heat. For your temperature, it is a, it is a good idea to have a Zoomed hermit crab heater. If you don't have a heater, your hermit crabs will be cold and die. But you can also have a heat lamp. And now that has been all about hermit crabs. Now on to handling. You must always, if you have one hermit crab, that is not, it is not a good idea to only have one hermit crab because they love to be in groups. Now, here is my hermit crab, Gary. They are nocturnal, so that means that they, they sleep in the day and they um, are alive. They like wake up in the night. And you must always ha handle them with your middle finger and your thumb on the outside parts of the shell but do not hold them high because they like to come out far and sometimes they'll hide. 
but if you want to, you can um, dip them inside inside the water to wake them up if they're not coming out. So that, so, and they love to crawl. Now if Gary wants to, he might come out and crawl for us. See, there he goes. They love to crawl it and have adventures. And that on his shelf is a painting of a cow. I got a hermit crab called Fancy Fancy Crabs. That that means the, um, the owners paint their shells with non-toxic paint so that it does not hurt the crab. Okay, now Gary's gonna go back inside his aquarium. Actually, I will show you guys the parts of the crab. They have 10 legs, two of them are claws, the small claw is used for climbing, the big claw is, is mainly used for defense and eating. The rest are all for the um, crawling and climbing. Now that has been the basics and handling about hermit crabs. Thank you.